Negligence in the kitchen could lead to lifelong injuries, and sometimes, in severe cases, it could cost a life. But Bemidji City officials are trying to change that. Brenda Mack tells us more. We're here because cooking fires are the number one cause of fires in the country, in Minnesota, and in our city. And in the last year, fire officials responded to around 6,000 structure fires total in the state. Of those fires, 44% are cooking. That's why fire officials want to reduce that number, starting with new students. Everyone's first year students, um, we just kind of want to raise awareness as you're kind of leaving the nest for the first time, uh, cooking for yourself. Leaving them with tips on not only preventing kitchen fire. Number one, to prevent cooking fires, we must be alert. But identifying what fire it is. Here today we're, we're focusing on the actual grease type or stovetop cooking fires. And what to do when it happens. I wasn't expecting that. When we use water in a, in a grease fire, the water actually will expand 1,700 times. I really didn't know. I, I thought you just put water on it, but I guess it's not. And here in Minnesota, reports show a home fire breaks out every 37 minutes. Or I would have grabbed the fire extinguisher. I would have never thought to like put a lid over or anything like that. Within a split second leaves a lesson that will remain with many. I didn't know it was that bad. And we're it like 20 feet away and you could feel the heat. So you yeah. know that like if it was in an enclosed room, it would be really bad. I like the, um, the device that you put on top of the stove. And those are fire stops. And what it is, it has a fusible link when it, when it uh, detects something warm or, or too hot, it actually shoots off and explodes, virtually dumping um, like an extinguisher powder into the pan, extinguishing your fire. So In Bemidji, Brenna Mack, the Inus. And officials say most importantly of all, call 911 immediately after a fire breaks out. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.